In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to dial in a good mix on the Aviom in-ear monitor system. Having a good in-ear mix is so important because being able to properly hear leads to the team all being on the same page, which in turn leads to the team leading worship with confidence. When dialing in a mix, it's helpful to have a process to walk through. I go through five steps every time I'm building my mix. First, I make sure I can hear myself. Second, I make sure I can hear the click track. This is so important because the click track is the source of time that keeps the band together. Third, I make sure I can hear the MD. The MD will be counting the band into progressions and leading through builds throughout the set. Everyone needs to be able to hear them. Fourth, I make sure I can hear the worship leaders as well as the campus pastor. There are times throughout the set that you will need to support them as they speak, so it's important you can hear them clearly. And last, I adjust the rest of the band. This part is where it gets more subjective because everyone has different preferences in terms of the level of different instruments in their mix. With that being said though, it is never a good idea to turn a channel completely down. To play effectively as a team, you need to be able to hear each other. So now I'm going to walk through these five steps and demonstrate how I would build my mix from the ground up. For this demonstration, I'm going to build my mix as if I were playing keys in the band. So first I want to make sure I can hear myself. Again, I'm playing keys. And if you look here, you'll notice there are two keys channels. There's keys left and keys right. I want to be able to hear both of those channels and I actually want them to be the exact same volume level. So let's start with keys left. Go ahead and turn that up. All right, and then keys right. Let's turn it up to match exactly that volume level. And then I just toggle back and forth to make sure they match. If they don't match, you'll know because the LED will change to show that there's a different volume there. So it looks like keys left is one notch higher. So let's bring keys right up one notch. That's good. And then the last step for mixing these keys to make it sure I can hear myself is to pan them. Anytime you're playing an instrument that has a stereo pair, you want to make sure that you pan them out wide. So this would apply to keys, it would apply to electric guitars. So I'm going to take keys left and pan it all the way to the left. And then keys right, I'll pan all the way to the right. So that makes it sound nice and open and leaves room in the middle for other instruments to sit in your mix. Second, I want to make sure I can hear the click track, so let's adjust this click channel and bring it up until we can hear it clearly. That sounds good. Chorus. And then third, we want to make sure we can hear the MD. There's actually no MD in this recording, but I'll go ahead and bring it up anyway. Again, it's really important to make sure you can hear the MD because they're going to be calling you through progressions, calling you through builds, and really just keeping the band together as a whole. Fourth step, you want to make sure you can hear the campus pastor Bridge. and the worship leaders. So there's no campus pastor in this recording. Uh, they would be on channel 16, so I'll go ahead and turn that up anyway, even though you won't hear anything. And then I want to make sure I can hear the worship leader. The worship leader is on vocal 2, so I'll click on vocal 2 and turn that channel up until I can hear them. Bridge. And then last, we just go through the rest of our mix and adjust it to taste, the rest of the instruments. So let's start over here with drums. Bring it up until it's at a level that you like. And then bass. Chorus. And then electric guitar 1A and B. So again, this is a stereo pair, so we're also going to want to pan them. We don't have to pan them all the way wide. That's kind of a preference thing right there. So let's go ahead and click on electric guitar 1A, bring it up. Let's go ahead and pan it to the left some. And then electric guitar 1B. And let's pan that to the right some. All right, let's bring electric guitar 1A down a little bit. It's a little loud in the left ear. Let's 
let's move on to electric guitar 2 A and B. So again, this is a stereo pair. We'll bring Chorus. them up first and then we'll pan them. and pan 2A to the left a little bit and 2B to the right a Bridge. little bit. All right, next is acoustic guitar. And then finally we have the loop. Let's go ahead and bring the loop up some. Bridge. If there were other vocalists in this mix, we would move on to that, but we don't have any in this mix. So I think that's a pretty good start to a mix. From there, you can just tweak as you need to and adjust your mix to uh, be exactly what you need. 